Hello everyone, this is Leonard Ulrich with a much needed volume two, The Illusion of Money film update. From time to time you'll see me referring to my notes on my phone and that is why I'm looking down. First of all, the full film should be complete by January 5th because I have two glorious weeks off from work. The full film will be over two hours in length. The Winnipeg Reel to Reel Film Festival cut of one hour and 45 minutes in length has already been uploaded to YouTube. Links to this unlisted standalone video have been sent out to all my supporters who have kept me going for the past four years. And I just want to say thank you for your patience. I'll be concentrating over the next six weeks on promoting the film locally. I will then turn my attention to physical production and mass distribution of the film. The illusion of money will not be shown on YouTube because YouTube is an unfair and dying platform. The illusion of money will be available for free on BitChute and or other programs or platforms as uh, the future unfolds. I'll be investigating purchasing my own website where I can upload videos to supporters in full 4K quality, similar to Vimeo, but without the censorship of Vimeo and or similar platforms. If you have any suggestions in this area, please let me know in the comments section below. There is nothing like owning your own platform because it is censorship free. And with your support, I can make this possible. One of the reasons why the film took so long is because I had to learn about filmmaking. If I knew everything about filmmaking that I know now, <laughs> I could have produced a video in half the time. I thank you for your patience and the next film, Total Control, will be faster in production. As far as a global economic update is concerned, I'll say this. The global economic collapse will begin in 2008. Let me say that again. The global economic collapse will begin in 2008. I never thought that the banksters could give themselves $29 trillion through the Federal Reserve since the Great Recession of 2008 and get away with it. I never thought that the Pentagon, which is the enforcement arm of the United States dollar, would be able to lose $21 trillion and get away with it. I never thought that negative interest rates were possible, but they are now. In one bank in Denmark, you can get credit for taking out a mortgage. Negative interest rates punish savers and reward spenders. Negative interest rates are being pursued as just one of the many tools to keep the illusion of money alive. I never thought that all markets were rigged, and I know that now. I never thought that the Federal Reserve could be treated as a pawn shop by the big banks who are required to balance their books by the end of every working day to the point where the Fed buys up bank assets on a short-term basis to nearly $3 trillion in just over 30 days. This whole repo or repurchasing market began, ironically enough, on September 11th, 2019. The global economy is like a glacier composed of trillions of dollars worth of debt which has been piling up for generations. This glacier is flowing out or flowing over whatever schemes the central banks construct to the point where Psalm chapter 2 becomes a reality. Why do the heathen rage and the peoples imagine a vain thing? The kings of earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Truer words were never written. If you have any comments, please let them know, please leave them rather in the comments section below. And, um, Please, uh, help me answer a question. I hate dumbing down my video quality to the point of a standard definition DVD. I would like to issue my second film, The Illusion of Money, only on Blu-ray disc, 
If this leaves you out, please let me know in the comments section below. That's all I have to say for now. I'll see you in about six weeks or maybe even sooner. God bless.